Je push fast pour commencer à pré-shot euh, le push bot déjà, avoir la pressure, pouvoir jouer le drake et tout, jouer la, la tête de bot, etc. Comment savoir si c'est mieux Navori ou en ou en, en termes de dégâts sur GP par exemple Bah tu utilises une calculatrice. <rire> Tu regardes, tu poses les stats, si vraiment tu sais pas et que t'arrives pas entre guillemets à avoir la logique de Theorycraft on va dire Bah juste tu es en mode ok bah imaginons j'ai une IE et un item, est-ce que je fais, enfin tu vas en custom, t'achètes les items, tu testes et tu vois tu... Well ladies and gentlemen, welcome back Short break here as these teams are looking to fly through this. Unsurprisingly, as it is 1.30 on the East Coast and 10.30 on the Pacific Coast. We all want to go to bed, but we all want to watch some pretty good League of Legends. ASO taking I over on the I don't know that that side. is quite the, quite the phrase I would use to describe it. Uh, some amusing League of Legends? You know, in terms of in terms of you know where I feel about that game, it's somewhere between Blood for the Blood Gods and cracking open some boys with the cold ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's definitely some dark rituals happening in this game, and I was not party to any of them. I I should probably move out of the uh, client before I get accidentally drafted into one of these teams, shouldn't I? That you would be... probably should, because that would it would be pretty funny. I mean, you know, just live cast and play. Just go yeah. for it. No, 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 because stream delay, I'd have to cast three minutes in the past. Yeah, you just have to remember everything that's happening three minutes ago. It's it's simple. Yeah, I just I just disassociate. That being Develop said. Develop a second personality and roll with it. <laughs> All right, it's... we're going straight back to the swain. Yeah, I already have two personalities, my league personality and the personality that I show to employers. Ah yes, my work Sona. I would like to cosplay them for 40 hours a week in exchange for goods and services. <laughs> exactly. The Swain being picked up again here by Deanza is a little a bit little? concerning. That has to be a Swain mid. Please, please tell me that that's a Swain mid. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It could be a Swain ADC again. I, I wouldn't put it yeah, past it them, could but be Swain, Swain bot lane. Is, They could be, is they a could decision. be smoke screening. They could be smoke screening their intentions. They're like, this is actually Swain bot lane, but we're so big brained. Wait, that we're no, gonna no, no, pick no, no, the Lulu no, no, no. to make them think. Lulu top. Full attack speed Lulu, Lulu top. top. Oh, shit. We're seeing it. it no, not, not full attack speed. It's just full support. Literally support <laughs> item Lulu top lane. Moonstone Goes Rush Redemption Jax, second. Ruins ruins Jax's life, leaves lane, <laughs> refuses to elaborate. See, the horrifying thing is they're probably listening into this commentary and they're like, yes, this is what we're doing now. We're going to curse yeah, this into like, existence. Dude, it is, a, it is 10 30 p.m. on the Pacific Coast. <laughs> we're doing it. Of course we're doing it. It's a oh, graves yeah. lock in. No jungle picked yet for Always Slept On. That's pretty interesting. I'm kind of shocked to see that they're not going to be pinching the jungle pool at all. Victor Ban makes me think that this... Oh, Udyr Ban. Okay, it is the jungle pool pinch. Yeah, reminder, they are listening to you. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they had enough time to listen to me. And what's the what's the natural delay on Twitch? Isn't it at least three seconds? Come on. Uh, three seconds. That depends on how my internet is, and I don't trust my IT office to be anything but perfect. You have very different expectations of any IT that you work with compared to what I have. Oh god, no. My my campus IT is awful, but it's a vibe. That being said, Actually, well, that's they're, not going true. Through, they're going through bands here. I want to, to just mention, this had better not be an Annie support. Because we saw that in the first match of the night, and it just did not click. Optimal no, Esports was not able to make it work. No, listen, I hate to throw shade at Robin, uh, and everyone else on Optimal Esports who I don't actually know, but Robin specifically, who I will blame for everything. Uh, they played that any support awfully. Not the actual player, but how the team played around it. Any support has to be roaming with the jungle. It has to be moving on the map, constantly generating pressure. There's no point in it sitting bot lane and babysitting a Sivir who's just scaling up for the next 20 freaking minutes, man. <sighs> because it Robin signs my paycheck, I'm not gonna, not gonna comment any further. Not gonna comment on it? <laughs> hey, Robin, 
I love you. But that was uh, yikes. In also, you can case. pay me at uh, at Zerathai at. <laughs> Uh, that being said, we're seeing the Cassiopeia here picked up by Deonza White. Now, this makes it look like it's a Swain mid or a Swain ADC, but Cassiopeia I... is currently the highest win rate no, top laner. No, it's Cassio top lane, dude. Oh which my is god, ridiculous. it is Cassio top lane. It is actually Wait, why Cassio, is Cassio top the highest lane? win rate top laner? Because top lane is a fucking disaster. It has always been a disaster, and Riot refuses to fix top lane. Hey, man. I didn't think top lane was a disaster in season five when I was a Riven, Gangplank, and Fiora main. Look, it's better than the season where Cleftomancy was a thing, and to survive in top lane, I had to become a Lucian Ezreal two trick. God in bless top Cleptomancy. Cleptomancy. All hail the Almighty fun. Shy. <laughs> I I miss Cleptomancy. The uh, Almighty Shy and Nuggery Boogery. Uh, uh, hold on, ASO. Is that um, a Jax jungle? So what's top lane, Lissandra? Is that a Lissandra? The Jax jungle sucks. Lissandra <laughs> top sucks. Lissandra jungle probably sucks, but then Jax jungle is good. Or Jax top is good, so... I and huh? Any jungle Lissandra support? Oh. I, uh, I mean, we... Wait, no, it is a Swain ADC but... again. There's a Renekton. It's Cassio mid. Oh. <laughs> hey, you don't know that it could be Renekton mid. Renekton mid into Cassidy actually is <laughs> super fun. Not for Cassidy, of course. Um. I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack. This is uh, this is cursed. I, you know, listen. All right, let's break it down. Annie, almost certainly going to support. Sivir? <laughs> I... Would be amazed if it was not in the marksman position. It's probably Cassidy in mid, because Cassidy in top can't play the game, and Lissandra top can't play the game. Therefore, it must be Jack's top lane, right? You, you think? I'm I'm not confident in anything, though. I I just I don't have an answer. We're the gonna have to sit through client draft and figure in. out. The absolute only thing I'm confident in is that we're gonna have another banger of a game, guys, gals. No, because this shot. is not no shot. going to be. Twitch chat is saying that Derpington plays Lissandra top. He plays Lissandra top. Okay, so it's Jack's jungle, Lissandra top. Um, we I... unfortunately do not have Deonza White in order in lobby, so we don't know offhand who is going where. Again. But Listen, I mean, Deonza least... White already broke like 17 rules to make this game happen, so what's another rule break in lobby casually? Hey, you know, you can handshake away anything except your pride. No, I'm pretty sure they definitely handshook that away when they told us it was going to be in 10 to 15 minutes and we waited for 34 minutes before it started. <laughs> yeah, I'm Boy. calling you out, Danza White. You know who you are. <laughs> Oy vey, I'm going to have to mute you. <laughs> Listen, I get a little heated on uh, OCL After Dark. It's you. Oi. All right, it's fine. I'm letting it go. I'm letting the rage flow through me. Okay, so what this appears to be, based on my memory of who was where in Tramp Select or in Lobby, is Renekton Top, Graves Jungle, Cassio Mid, Swain Lulu Bot, into Lissandra Top, Jax Jungle, Cassidy Mid, Sivir Annie Bot Lane. Uh, Zarathai, who... Nobody won draft. Everybody lost. Who lost harder? Oh! Um... I think if they put the Renekton top lane in the Casio mid lane, Deanza White lost harder. I think if they moved the Renekton mid lane, then it's pretty neutral. I... 
you know, I understand conceptually that there there's theoretically upside to always slept on draft, but the issue is you have picked three champions that take ten plus minutes to get into the game, and then you have a Jax who, you know, in his current iteration just wants to be able to split push and then pick like skirmishes out of team fights. And an Annie who is like a multi purpose cheat code that's going to absolutely stun people from infinity range away instantaneously. And on the other hand, you have just Renekton and Top Lane setting up absolutely nothing for a Graves jungle who ganks absolutely nowhere with a Cassiopeia mid lane that can't beat Cassidan. <laughs> And a freaking Swain Lulu bot lane because Swain's got to slap him real fast. <laughs> Again, attack speed Lulu. I'm seeing it. Ginsu's first item. Lulu goes hard. It goes hard AF. I'm just not sold on it being hard AF enough. You know what I mean? Oh, I... I don't have answers. Right, I don't we think got... we're going to have answers. We're going to step aside for a couple of minutes to let this game happen. Uh, when we come back... This The game will be happening. <laughs> all of this is going to be on your screen, and we're going to be here for every minute of it. So, so don't go anywhere. Stay and watch us suffer. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on to the Rift. The teams are ready, and 
I sure hope the rest of you are, because we are getting into it. Doesn't look like we're going to have any fun invades this time, as both teams are spreading out into the lovely, lovely five-point. We do get confirmation. This is a Cassiopeia top, Graves mid, Renekton, or Graves jungle, Renekton mid. Graves mid? Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Swain, Lulu, bot lane facing into Derpington on the Lu uh, Lissandra. The Jacks in the jungle, oh. Cassid in mid, and Siver Annie on the bot lane. This is this is fun. This is going to be a good time. This, I mean, you and I have slightly different definitions of good time. I'm really confused as to why you know everyone has just played the weirdest possible starting setup like it wasn't even a conventional five point by either team they just kind of walked around dropped a few wars and then left you know i'm i'm looking at runes and i have even more questions the first strike on any like uh, yes. <coughs> what yeah electrocute cassidy i I suppose. Electrocute Lissandra? Who are you zapping? The Cassiopeia, apparently. Hey, d is she, though? <laughs> that doesn't seem incredibly likely in a ranged-on-ranged -ranged matchup. Um, I mean... Conqueror Swain makes sense. No, the Conqueror is valid. The PTA on Yushu is valid. The Conqueror on Cassiopeia is valid. The Conqueror, or the Fleet Footwork on the Graves. Completely reasonable. But... Yeah, it just... feels like uh, Always Slept On has decided that, you know, we really tried to play some coordinated team play last game, and that didn't work out for us, so we're going full solo queue this game. I, I don't even know that this justifies or qualifies as solo queue. This is just full. Fights right, in the top Kasuzu lane. Kasuzu is down eight. under 100, but does have the Conqueror procced. Derpington, when he hits level 3, will have that Glacial Path and could look for a re-engage here. With how low this Cassiopeia is, she might not have any way to respond. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, unsurprisingly, Shizumoto not having a great time on the very late game champ into one of the premier early game duelists. Bot yeah, lane. the Renekton bar has existed since season four, three? Yeah. And uh, they definitely exists. existed for a reason. I... You know, if there's anything to be happy for here for ASO, it's that Hold My Poodle can gank wherever he pleases. Headshot King taking a lot of damage here. Does land the stun onto Cold Hearted. Trade? Almost even there by the end. But still not fun for the Annie. Yeah, not Oop. fun for the Annie. Really good heads up ward by the always slept on bot lane. You know, they're, they're cognizant of the fact that Graves is going to be clearing from the red buff through the blue side. So they do not want to get jumped on over the wall oh my gosh that is a jack skank that actually works that's that's one way to draw first blood here in this game going to the top lane lissandra not not the call i expected to make here however annie in trouble headshot Ooh. king is going to be the first to fall in the bot lane uh-oh Sandra recalling on a ward, the flash forward from Kasuzu gets the grounded out, and that's going to be a trade kill in the top lane. TP available for Derpington, but still some gold back in the Cassiopeia pocket. What? S somehow is in the mid lane, game? Shizumoto is, this a is real video game? suddenly winning the health war, and also has Hold My Poodle here to counter gank the Graves back. who is coming. Uh, Yushi Yoshi's dead. Hold my poodle. Now trying to help Shizumoto avoid Just Canyon, but will not manage it. That's going to be a one for one in the mid lane. Actually goes to the Renekton. Now hold my poodle. Trying to continue the fight onto Just Canyon, but the red team top laner has the roam advantage, so Just Canyon is going to be able to walk out alive. Hedgehog King being incredibly aggressive for the fact that Lettuce is being pounded by three waves of minions at once, and... 
Dice. Dice. Yeah, that that happened. Derpington in trouble once again, forced to flash away from the Cassiopeia, who with that twin fang machine gun is able to put out a whole lot of damage despite only being level five. Yeah, all we slept on. Looks like maybe they need a little bit more sleep because some of these plays are just... I mean, they really do look like the kind of unfortunate plays you make when you're at the level of tiredness where you're no longer thinking uh, correctly. Kasuzu's oh, going to what? die here. That was a trade Why? in the top lane? That wasn't net positive. You didn't get the wave all the way under tower. It's just like... <laughs> I, uh, I'm confused. Maybe a little scared. Holy cow, Shizumoto getting traded on by Yushiyoshi. Yushiyoshi finally has the Dominus available to him. I mean... Yeah, but with trades like that, doesn't even need it. Yeah, holy cow, Yushiyoshi, the CS lead. I didn't even think to look at it for a moment there, but Shizumoto is down 27 CS. Yes, there is a wave of seven minions crashing into the tower. But he's up 30, even after this wave. If Shizumoto is perfect, and it's very hard to be perfect on a Cassidy under tower, he's still down 23 CS, which is what he currently has. This is... <laughs> this is a video game. Derpington gets hit by one Q from Cassiopeia and uses Instantly the glacial, glacial path backwards. I mean, a healthy fear of God is reasonable, but like... That's she not healthy, bro. I mean, yes, you've been machine gunned down twice now because you've been playing like a madman, but not. There's somewhere, there's somewhere between madman and instantly cast E the moment Cassiopeia cues. It, this. There are choices being made from Durbington. Yes, the Lissandra top is a fascinating pocket pick, but I'm. I'm not sure that it's quite doing what he was hoping it to do here. Yeah, hold my poodle. Just tour through the mid lane. Root lands uh -oh. onto Lettuce, who gets polymorphed immediately down under half health. The ignite goes down. Traveler Paul also ignited down under half, but just Canyon coming around the back is going to be seen on a pink ward. And that's going to be the yeah. end of that. Ignites traded and ghost popped by Lettuce. Yeah, Shizumoto, uh, that's you using the just... ultimate a lot. He's just dead. Yeah. yeah. I feel like one of the reasons why Renekton mid works so well is that mid laners have no... I shouldn't say have no concept, but mid laners generally don't have the you know, implicit understanding of exactly how much damage Renekton does at the early levels. Because he can and will absolutely chunk you for half your health every single time he pushes the E button and you're in range of him at the end of it. I And then he's going to dash it's... out and not get traded on. I don't think it's just Renekton. I think it's all assassins. Um, one of my very close friends is a mid lane Katarina main and does exactly the same thing. You know, the enemy mid laner will just oh. forget that Katarina is capable of damage. Headshot King isn't warded in that bush, but Lettuce... Very low oh. at half health. The stun from Headshot King will sacrifice himself to save his ADC, but with Graves coming around the backside, it might not be much of a save after all. Headshot King does fall here. Meanwhile, in the top side, Dervington continuing to get bullied under this turret. There is a Jax to try and save the Lissandra, but it's still going to be very difficult. Glacial Path in. Going to immediately use the tomb. Here comes the stun oh, combo from this. Jax. But oh. Derpington is dead. It's a one for one. Kasuzu making sure that this lane stays even as Lettuce getting surrounded oh, and no. likely killed in the bot side. There he goes. I mean, things are just constantly tilting from bad per to worse for all we slept on. Unfortunately, they're not able to find advantages in any of the one-on-one -on -one positions on the map. They're, I mean, their bot lane is just kind of losing 2v2. They're not I mean, I don't know. It's it's really rough for all we slept on in this scenario. You have to find somewhere on the map that can be your pressure point and decide, okay, I'm going to open this up and we're going to start feeding gold into the other lanes through this. But your pressure point is hold my poodle on the Jack's jungle. 
and arguably Derpington in the top lane is the closest to even. Yeah, and admittedly, hold my poodle, doing a fabulous job up four camps, up a kill, has been everywhere. Yep. But with lanes like this, you just can't win. Hold my poodle going in on Yushiyoshi. The Dominus is pop. Shizumoto's might just die here. Hold my poodle is level eight, almost on parity with the mid laner, but it's not enough forced to run away after popping the Grandmaster's Might. Cold-hearted there to back him up. Just Canyon on yeah. the way as well. Yushi, oh, Yushi, Yushi going in flashing. very deep to find Shizumoto. Will not quite secure the kill. Riftwalk is enough to keep the Cassidy alive as a flash forward from Headshot King. The root will land. Traveler Paul under half health. Hold my poodle going back in to try and find Just Canyon here. Flashes forward, gets the kill. Now on a killing spree. Ignite coming out from Yushi Yoshi. Can hold my poodle, secure the kill, and save his mid laner. Looks like the answer is going to be no. He does get the kill, but it's a little bit too late. Meanwhile, in the bot side, Led is taking a lot of damage here. Takes a couple of turret shots. Traveler Paul with the demonic ascension. The explosion secures the kill. Now we'll find Headshot King does land the nether grasp and will secure this double kill in the 1v2. What? What? I have... I don't want to be too negative, okay? I'm going to not be negative. So, Hold My Poodle does a really great job. He capitalizes on the overextension by Yushiyoshi and just Canyon. They really tried to dive both towers at the same time. That's generally not going to work. You're going to take a whole lot of tower damage and not a whole lot of time. In fact, just Canyon, I don't think, took any damage outside of the tower damage until Hold My Poodle was finally able to deal just like an extra 100 damage at the tail end of it. Yeah, and Luke's Strike Yushiyoshi was all that was needed. Going for the yeah, Yushiyoshi going for the uh, slice and dice flash engage on Shizumoto, who could just still rift walk away. It's a bit of a stretch. Now that said, similarly a bit of a stretch, Lettuce and Headshot King walking straight up into close range of Traveler Paul, who just finished his Rylai's Crystal Scepter under his own tower? Probably not the option select. I'm going to be looking for them to not be making any more mistakes like that because if you keep making those kinds of mistakes, the game will just be out of your hands so quickly. Even Hold My Poodle won't be able to save you from it because Hold My Poodle has really no defensive mechanisms to deal with Traveler Paul. Rift Herald is taken. Rift Herald will be dropped topside. Lissandra has to run, has to give up the turret here. Just Canyon, too threatening at 1-1-2 one, one, and two with the Umbral Glaive. The Cassiopeia may only have a Rod of Ages, but is so, so scary. Nonetheless, sitting at 3-3, three and three, sitting at a 30 CS lead. Nethergrasp lands onto Headshot King, who has the stun, but it will not matter. Coldhearted does get stunned up, does get taken down, but Traveler Paul has already gotten the first kill. The stun Aww. lands once again onto Lettuce. Lettuce is going to fall here. Death's hand is going to secure it. Just Canyon dying in the top Ooh. side. Derpington with the stun under the turret able to secure that. The Wraith doing a lot of damage to Kasuzu as well with that turret. Just a breath and it goes down. Can Derpington keep this alive or at least alive long enough to hit Kasuzu a couple of times? Looks like that turret will barely, barely live sitting at 91 health. Yeah, I really honestly kind of confused by Derpington going for the Rod of Ages. It doesn't feel like Lissandra's one of the champions where you really benefit from having that extra level. I think an Everfrost would have been conventionally what I would have expected a lot more. Or maybe if you're really concerned about the burst damage and whatnot. Wait, Derpington, why are you just Derpington. letting Kasusu do this? What? Hello? He just walks up to... What? I, I don't have answers. I have so many questions. I... That... That happened. Derpington loses another life. And the turret goes down. Kasuzu gets that gold. Kasuzu gets another kill. Kasuzu now 4 and 3, sitting with over 3,000 gold in their pocket. Huh? Why? <laughs> Why? Uh -huh. I, I, I don't. I, I just don't. It's not that I don't know. I just don't. You simply are unable to can. Exactly. Yushiyoshi running wild in the mid lane, sitting at 3 and 2, has the fully completed Bork, is a menace just with that, thanks to the power of the W, is just so strong. Derpington going back in onto Kasuzu. Wait, why is Kasuzu still here? No city loses, here? Knows that he loses this so trade. The Twin Fang wins this fight. 
Glacial Tomb comes out. Durfington, and what are you doing? Kill. Durfington goes back in with the Glacial Path. He's going to die again because Suzu wins the 1v1. You can't Meanwhile, do that. Meanwhile, on the other side, Hold My Poodle does manage to find one kill. Traveler Paul does survive, though. Yushi Yoshi is here. Yushi Yoshi is a problem running down Lettuce and Headshot King. Can he find the angle? No flash for Just Canyon. No way back in. Yushi Yoshi looking for the angle. Run down? Oh. The Visions of Empire finds the Sivir, and Yushi Yoshi misses okay, the W, uh, clicks away. Down. Yushi Yoshi's going to die yes. for this. I just... Kasuzu's still out there. Kasuzu is sitting on 4,000 gold. Kasuzu has more gold in his pocket than he has spent all game. Still on the map. Still farming. Sure. Currently 53 CS in the lead. Sure. Makes as much sense as anything else. This... The Swain just... is 7-0. Oh. I... <laughs> I don't know, man. This is... This is League of Legends it's at its rough. finest. Yeah, I mean, Yushi Yoshi, I think, making an itemization mistake, you know, with the entire rest of your team winning this hard, not going for the Gore Drinker and just being annoying is probably, you know, if there was a potential avenue for Always Slept On back into the game, I think it probably revolves around the fact that Yushi Yoshi, even through the Dominus, is going to be incredibly burstable. But does it matter if everyone on Always Slept On is so far behind that they're not going to get enough items to kill them in the first place? I'm not sure that it does. The bot lane is a combined 2 and 10. The mid lane is 0 and 3, down 40 CS. The jungle exists. Yushi Yoshi might actually die here. The Dominus is not even going to come out. Kill goes over to huh? Derpington? Sure. Not I... sure why he walked back in when he knew that Headshot King had just tried to run him down and failed. Derpington going back to try and harass Kasuzu in the top lane. Kasuzu does not care. Kasuzu is AFK auto-attacking this turret and doing just fine. Glacial Tomb comes down, stun coming out, but a massive penetrate, petrifying gaze lands onto two. The stun coming out of Annie is going to be enough to shut it down, but that shutdown goes to Headshot King. It is just something else. I really don't know what they're thinking at this point. It feels like they're letting the game get a little bit away from them. They're letting their brains start to see gold signs instead of plays. It's like... You gold may have the wallet dip, pings. but... Uh, Derpington, oh, Derpington may be in a little bit of trouble, does land the route onto Just Canyon. Pretty hard to miss it when you can land it on anyone in your area. No Glacial Path available for the next few seconds. However, the collateral damage isn't enough. It's going to have to fall to oh, the Leandries from Traveler Paul, the he Visions of the Empire. Yeah, good on Traveler Paul. A oh. little bit of itemization change. Shizumoto in trouble. The burst from the Demonic Ascension takes Shizumoto down under half the root Holy lands, cow. but Riftwalk just in time. Headshot King now under half himself. Traveler Paul continuing to run under the turret. Is Leandries going to be enough? That... No, but yes, it is, in fact. Yushi Yoshi may be in trouble, though. His Hold My Poodle gets that kill. But it doesn't matter in the mid lane. Shizumoto is dead once again. Lettuce died somewhere. Uh, yeah, I actually lane, have no idea what happened Renekton. to Lettuce. Oh, naturally. Uh, Lissandra teleporting topside to prevent the Cassiopeia from continuing to split push. Because the split push Cassiopeia is the problem this game. Kasuzu is just running down Derpington. Oh my god. Derpington is he just self ult there. Oh, maybe he can. Never mind. I guess I'm I'm wrong. I... It's it's yep, literally sure. hold my poodle against the world. It really is hold my poodle against the world. You have to hope that the Derpington is going to be able to set him up. But Derpington doesn't even have a freaking Everfrost to root anyone. Like I mean, yes, it's only one more CC, but it's one more CC. It matters if you're so far behind. Being able to throw anything at your opponent that's going to stop them from playing the game the way they want to is going to be a really big impact. But hold my poodle, you know, all he has is the Divine Thunder. He's working his way towards the... Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. Wits End. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. Lettuce, like... I feel like he can just die walking up the lane like this. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at the gold in pocket once again. 
Uh, Kasuzu has nearly 2,000 gold in pocket. Just Canyon is pulling Kasuzu, <laughs> has 3,100 gold in pocket. Kasuzu's going to kill Durpington here. There's no Glacial Tomb available. Stun comes out. Grandmasters might popped. Hold My Poodle looking to try and turn this around for his top laner. Shizumoto coming over will not be gifted the kill. It goes to Hold My Poodle. Okay, at hold least it goes poodle. to Hold My Poodle this time. <laughs> trying his best here as Lettuce and Hedgehog King try and hold this turret, but they're going to be dove 2v4. Flash away from oh. the Visions of Empire. Coldhearted is actually going to die. No, doesn't quite die. The Wild Growth is just barely enough. Traveler Paul popping the Demonic Ascension is going to find Shizumoto here just tanking up so much damage. Flash forward does not land the Nether Grasp. Visions of Empire will not hit, but it is still a turret dead. Rift Herald will not even charge. Rift Herald charge will be available for the tier 2. However, Hold My Poodle is in the bush. Stun is available. Traveler Paul is down. Traveler Paul is dead. Yoshi, the next target, down under 300. Hold My Poodle doing work here, trying to find Just Cannon. Can he find enough damage? No, he cannot. Just Canyon finds the pick on the Hold My Poodle. Now 8 and 2. However, the Rift Herald did not charge. They managed to avoid the Rift Herald charge. Lettuce getting run down by Kasuzu. Now, can they find the stun in time? Headshot King lands the stun under the turret. However, the Petrifying Gaze is going to be enough. <laughs> Headshot King dies under the turret as well. It's a double kill for the Cassiopeia. This fight has been going on for 45 seconds, and I'm still breathing. Just Cannon going to continue to take this Cloud Drake. They are now one Drake away from Soul. That's going to be a 26 and a half minute Soul Point. And unless Hold My Poodle can secure miracle after miracle, this game is firmly in the pocket of Deonza White. Yeah, I mean, you saw Hold My Poodle just putting forth a monstrous effort there, really trying to right the ship. Unfortunately, just was Imagine not able to quite make Jana. it happen. Imagine if he had a team. Uh, Canyon, you can't do that anymore. Can't Canyon. Canyon, no. You can definitely try. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> hey, canyon you can see on the on the ground where the you can literally see the circle that you have to be inside to re-aggro the monster ocl after dark oh man what a banger <laughs> oh the swain has three items lettuce has not finished his second I will say... Lettuce actually isn't even close to finishing his second. <laughs> I will say, silver lining, Yushiyoshi got the Blade of the Ruin King at, like, eight minutes. Has not completed his second He's item yet. He's going Prowlers! <laughs> He's going freaking Prowlers, man. Hold My Poodle going in is going to find three members here. However, the entirety of ASO is here. Yushiyoshi oh! is dead. Traveler Paul is dead. Hold oh My, my Poodle going in. Grandmaster's Might doing absolute work here wild growth used on cold hearted hold my oh. poodle is gonna die but it does not matter as a quadra kill oh for the God. sivir out of nowhere and suddenly lettuce is a real champion again huh? winnable by the way <laughs> apparently <laughs> I, i've lost oh the my ability God. to hold my poodle did so much damage there i mean they literally <laughs> just let him run at them <laughs> I I don't have an answer. I I don't know. I I just it's twenty to twenty eight. We're twenty three minutes in. We've got more than two kills a minute. Kasuzu is seven and five and is still scared of Derpington. Shizumoto's on the way. Has Hedgehog King on the back. Can they find the kill on a Kasuzu here? Rift walk forward from Shizumoto. Shizumoto looking for the slow, but Kasuzu is going three to slow her levels away. down. Oh Kassadin is three levels away from being a fully fledged champion. I mean, that's not true. Kassadin spikes so insanely hard at level 11. It's actually a much okay. bigger spike than his level 16. It, to be fair, but he's two levels and a minute and a half away because Rod of Ages. Okay, yes, that's fair. That is true. However, counterpoint, Kasuzu's level 16! Well, yeah, he actually has a Rod of Ages and not just a Rod of Ages component. True. Uh, Baron is being taken. Hold my poodle I, is on the I, other I, side of the map taking red. This is just a sacked Baron. I have no vision. Because there's no vision. There's nothing that Headshot King can do here. Has the most vision score in the game, but just hasn't been able to do anything with it. Shizmoto does Let take a turret on the other side. Let us still have a regular ward. I don't necessarily don't disagree with yet. Yellow Ward here. I, I think someone on the team needs to have Yellow Ward. Headshot King does some yeah, damage. Someone, someone's Ushimer. name is Annie.
I. That was a joke about the support item, but I mean. No, I. I. Just, no, I'm as just. Shiver, you can't oh. be in range to, to drop a yellow trinket anywhere where a yellow trinket is gonna be useful to you. That's fair. I mean, I guess the Cassidy has a yellow trinket, so it's time for Lettuce to swap over to blue. But... Yeah, and Hold My Poodle did have a yellow trinket for a really long time. Well, yes, it's very good on Jax because you can use it for Leap Strike. Yeah, it turns out unconditional mobility is the best kind of mobility. Just Canyon is going to get away. Derpington similarly escaping. However, Yushi Yoshi not happy giving that yes. up. Hold My Poodle forced to flash away here to get into Headshot King's oh, waiting can... arms. I'm surprised they didn't look for the re-engage there. Hold My Poodle had the Counter-Strike ticking and Headshot King with the Tabers primed and flash up. I think they could have just blown them both up instantly. Yeah, Shizumoto about half a level to 16, nearly hitting that go button. This is going to be a, a, a deciding fight. I realize it's just Cloud Soul, but it still feels like this fight is perhaps the best chance for ASO to turn this. I feel like ASO legitimately just gives, just should give this Cloud Soul. You should just collect the top lane tower for free and then flip the Elder. That's your way you win the game. Hold my poodle, gonna face check Traveler Paul. The immediate demonic oh, ascension. No. Headshot King forced to flash away as just cannon going hard on the backside. Is gonna get stunned up, is nearly gonna fall. Headshot King is the first to die though. Traveler Paul, very, very low. Flash forward from Lettuce, trying to cook here on the backside. Petrifying Gaze kills two here for Kasuzu. Shizumoto is going to be the next to fall. Shizumoto running for his life, it He's will dead. not matter. Lettuce tracking down cold hearted. Can he get the killer? Will he die himself here? Lettuce actually dies oh, to the Lulu solo. On the back end of that fight, that's a five for three. Kasuzu's gonna solo the Drake. Give this Deonza White team soul. Cold Hearted, meanwhile, pushing with Baron, despite being just a Lulu, will be able to take at least this secondary turret and push this wave into the inhibitor turret. With Baron spawning, okay, Baron doesn't spawn for another three minutes, so there will be a small lull here. But even still. Even still, Zarathai, this the this game, game continues. How how has this game gotten to twenty eight minutes, Zarathai? How are there fifty six kills? How is there only see, a five thousand gold diff? It's a simple formula, actually. The formula goes something like: if fight available, take fight equals yes. Uh, Derpington yep, there we forced go. to use the ult defensively. Headshot King trying to come in for the re-engage. But it's just going to be a flash out by Yushiyoshi. Fair enough. The yeah, wheel continues. Enough. Another fight. <laughs> Yushiyoshi down to a third health. Could be picked off here if Hold My Poodle can find an angle. Just Canyon failed the blast cone. Hold my poodle is going to find the angle here. Uh, Onto three. Gets the stun onto Yushiyoshi. However, Wild Growth I is mean, going to secure his fate. Kill goes to Cold Hearted, but at this point, two man stun here. Onto Cold Hearted and Traveler Paul. Cold Hearted is dead. Traveler Paul next to follow. Yushiyoshi down under half. Pops the Dominus, but it will not matter. Just Cannon going in trying to find something, but it will not matter. Baron, that's a four for one. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, just Cassiopeia Baron. is just AFK split pushing. Oh, wait, no, it's not fair. Right. Ah, no, it's two minutes away. Oh, my God. Ah! Why are they fighting? <laughs> I don't confused. know. There's no point. Why There's is he no TPing? Point. Why is Shizumoto TPing here? Shizumoto just dies. He face tanked the petrifying gaze and he's dead. Kasuzu now going to run Durbington down Durbington. Use the twin fang. Have the glacial tomb available, but Durbington is still in a whole lot of trouble. Headshot King <laughs> looking to try and find the sun to save his mid laner, but it will not Shizu, matter. I mean, Kasuzu now godlike 12 and 5, sitting at four completed items. Meanwhile, in the mid lane. Lettuce secured the first inhibitor turret of the game, because of course he did. Because that makes just as much sense as anything else. I Teleport coming out oh, from the Cassiopeia. Teleport? Can the stun oh, land? Right the here. stun lands, it's a thousand gold oh? shutdown! Hold my poodle, gets the thousand gold shutdown! Huh? Why didn't you at least drop the W before starting the TP? I don't get it, man! It... Finish the Rabadons off that. 
Because Kazuzu is now full blown. Wait, why did Kazuzu buy a? Why did he buy a Magi's? <laughs> <laughs> Lettuce now in trouble on the wrong side of you. Why is and Lettuce still here? Lettuce is very dead. Teleport coming out from why Lissandra of all people. In? Ghost popped by Lettuce trying to run away. Ghost. Will be hit by the smoke screen. Lettuce is dead. And TP why? wasted by Durkington. I... <laughs> You just threw the game. You had maybe an opportunity back into the game, and you're just like, actually. In nah. retrospect, Derpington now in trouble. Hit gets hit by the smoke screen from Just Canyon. Will be able to walk away. Surprisingly, that's about the first fight in 20 minutes that we haven't seen instantly taken by both teams. Yep, there's the second one. Derpington had the uh, glacial path. Against all odds, by the way, flash forward from Headshot King, Traveler Paul in trouble. Oh my the God. Demonic Ascension comes out, Traveler Paul remaining alive for very long. Hold My Poodle now in trouble. Shizumoto and Derpington running away. Lettuce is still dead. Headshot King, 40 seconds in the death chamber. Derpington trying to run away but cannot run from Kasuzu. Forced to use the stopwatch defensively will be the next to fall. Shizumoto and Hold My Poodle both survived. However, Baron is up and Baron will be started here. No TPs and a Jax at half health means that this Baron will likely be seated. Just Canyon and Yushiyoshi not taking it very quickly. But it will be quickly yeah. enough. Kasuzu is mid. Kasuzu is yep. mid. Will be burning through Shizumoto. Oh my gosh. Rift walked into the miasma. Because of course he did. Hold my poodle. Jumping forward. Trying to find Kasuzu here. Ult popped by Lettuce. Trying to find Kasuzu again. Hold my poodle is just going to be burned down. Hold my poodle is dead to Kasuzu. And with a 55 second death timer. And the main carry for the side of ASO dead. This feels like the game. I think that's game. game. This is absolutely it, the game lettuce? for members. I don't know plus. if you were watching, but Lettuce just took 40% of his health by walking through Miasma for two seconds. That tracks as much as anything else. Turret yeah, I mean, falls here. Yeah, the inhibitor, inhibitor falls. falls. I mean, falls. they are going to have to make an insane last hand. Headshot King in the bush. Cold Hearted going to be Headshot the target. King does find Cold Hearted because Suzu down under 1,000 health. Will be able to get oh. over the wall. Headshot the King game? actually could have killed Kasuzu if he had been focusing them from the start. That's kind of yeah. sad. That makes as much sense as anything else here. Just Canyon gets another camp, I suppose. Is still fairly close to parity with Hold My Poodle, despite the fact that Hold My Poodle is doing full carry pants mode. Uh, Just Canyon doing a good job of keeping parity because that's what matters in this 70 kill game. <laughs> We're Elder over two Drake. kills a minute, baby. Elder Drake spawning in 20 seconds. Wait, why are you and recalling? ASO is recalling because... You can't recall. It's five seconds for their support to spawn. You have to force the Elder on spawn or else you just lose to a numbers. <laughs> are they trusting Hold My Poodle to steal? Why would they be... No, you have to... That's not uh, the op. You can't do that. <laughs> it's what they're going to do. Drake at 15k. Drake falling rapidly. Derpington looking for the angle. Okay, Derpington the goes team. in. Binds the... Doesn't even manage to ult. Is very dead. Hold my poodle. Meanwhile, Shizumoto dying rapidly on the backside. Trying to kill Kasuzu first, but it will not be enough. Hold my poodle. Trying valiantly. It does not matter. Somehow, Lettuce is at zero health. Somehow, Headshot King is about to die. Traveler Paul is going to get the Nether Grasp. Or the Death Grasp, rather. That's a quadra kill for the Cassiopeia. Not going to quite die to the burn from Annie. But with the Elder Drake about to be taken, this game is is gone yeah it certainly is I, over and what a wild ride to get here i want to get off mr bones's wild ride i want to get off mr bones's wild ride sir i you are not allowed off of the ride because the ride's only just beginning we have what is it eight more weeks of regular season kasuzu taken low by the boomerang blade however the Nexus is about to fall. Derpington trying his Valiant list, but will fall rapidly. Lettuce running into base as the Nexus falls, and that's going to be the game. Deonza White. <laughs> I, 
I suppose, runs away with it. I... There are no words. Words words do not suffice. For Yeah, I don't that. think there's really any human way of communicating exactly what we just saw. It was just the rawest amount of I see a fight, I take a fight that I think I've ever seen from a Platinum League. 69 kills in 34 minutes in the first game. 76 (laughs) in 34 in the second game. (laughs) They went faster, (laughs) Zarathai. They went faster. (sighs) Yep. I'm not sure how they managed that one. Because this game did not feel anywhere near as close as the first game. But somehow they just stuck it through. They made it close. And it delivered on definitely explosive and exciting gameplay, if nothing else. Um, we, we got I, to cast some like, fun games. Yeah, they, this was probably the best possible series to ever have an OCL After Dark budget stream on. We had more viewers for this than we had for the proper stream with proper sane casters at a proper time at night. We have more viewers right now than we had at any other point today. I'm just really glad to know that everyone's out here for the uh, spicy post-midnight Eastern stream. If you're sitting in chat and you're watching this, give us a hype because this was some hype. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a hell of a ride. A wonderful, wonderful series. Deonza White, after nearly forfeiting due to power outages, brought three emergency substitutes and two owed always slept on in perhaps the bloodiest battles I have seen in a long, long time. And if this is what OCL is going to be like for the entire season, Zerathai, I have no idea where the standings are going to be at the end of the year. Uh, I, I don't think this is where all of OCL is heading. But if it is, at least we'll have one hell of an experience getting there. Amen. Well, that being right, said, well, this is yeah, it for us for... tonight. It has been two fascinating matches. We had a fun one this evening earlier with the Ragnarok Berserkers 2 owing out from Esports. Finish it off with the 2 0 here. Deonza turning it around on Always Slept On. We have one more match to finish out week one. That's going to be played Sunday evening. That's Deonza Burgundy facing off against Sanitarium. However, until then, that is the end for us at OCL. I have been Alzeronor for myself, for Zerathai, for everyone else here in the OCL content creation team. Thanks for sticking this out. It's been a lot of fun, and we'll see you guys next time.